So it's been a rather salty time to be on the internet, from the Game Award nominees to the general existence of the console wars, it seems like things are only getting saltier, and as predicted by literally everyone, Xbox owning Call of Duty continues to be a major supplier of this salt, no matter how much or how little Microsoft actually seems to be involved with the decision making with this franchise. In case you missed it, Modern Warfare 3 came out, and it's a gigantic piece of poopy doggy poop, and ever since it launched, the PlayStation guys have been trying to act like Microsoft is some somehow at fault for the game's state. It should be common knowledge at this point that Xbox really had nothing to do with Modern Warfare 3 being what it is. And yet, the PlayStation base continues to try and pin all of the game's shortcomings personally on Phil Spencer, because apparently that's how slow things have been for you this year. Also, friendly reminder that PlayStation plays this franchise way more than any other platform, so if anyone is enabling the state of Call of Duty, it's the PlayStation guys, but apparently we're not allowed to talk about that. Also, according to early sales data, the PlayStation is once again buying Call of Duty way more than every other platform, despite the evil, evil Xbox ruining everyone's lives, but again, we're, I guess we're just not supposed to talk about that. But we are currently in week three, I think, of Modern Warfare 3's run, and the Sony ponies are continuing to blame absolutely everything about it on Xbox. So naturally, we're going to keep making fun of them, because it's not going to get any less stupid. So pour yourself some coffee, use code JOE, 40 gaming for 10% off a nice mouse pad and let's get into the stupid together. The Red Dragon posts a screenshot of the Steam charts for Modern Warfare 3, which is a weird move, but anyways, he says, During last launch a year ago, Call of Duty hit nearly 500,000 players on Steam alone. So far, Modern Warfare 3 has failed to break 180,000 and recent reviews are sitting at a 44. Twitch stats are also extremely weak. Hashtag Xbox. I think my favorite part about this tweet is the fact that I literally said you were going to do this in my last Modern Warfare 3 video. I've got some predictions here. Here are my predictions. Once Modern Warfare 3 comes out, you're going to see PlayStation guys talking about how the game is shit and always was shit despite them making up the majority of the player base. Correct. You'll see Xbox guys calling it the best first party multiplayer game or whatever despite Xbox literally having nothing to do with its creation. Correct. You'll see PlayStation guys resort to the Steam player accounts to use it as ammo to say the game is dead or disappointing. Correct! And you'll see Xbox guys use the sales numbers as a W for Microsoft despite, again, the majority of the player base being on PlayStation. Correct! Like, you guys are so fucking desperate for dunks on Xbox that you're using the stats from an entirely different platform. And you're so fucking dense that we predicted this weeks ago. We knew you were going to do this and you still did it. Ugh, the Red Dragon later also quote tweeted this Steam Charts tweet and says COD sales down 25% from last year's release and only 20% purchased on Xbox. But did you catch the irony there? Just read this tweet again and then read this one again. In case you didn't catch it, Red Dragon is simultaneously talking shit about low player counts while also talking shit about people buying the game. Ready boy, which one is it? Are people suckers for buying the game, or is no one buying the game? And again, the PlayStation guys are still buying this franchise way more than anyone else. So talking smack about how few copies are being sold on Xbox and PC is kind of a weird look. But let's just let's just wrap the let's wrap up the Red Dragon trilogy with one more to bring it all home. Because like a day after those two tweets, he said, Activision slash Xbox is already pulling Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 maps because of terrible spawns. Rushed game development, rushed out the door unfinished, glorified DLC for $70, egregious microtransactions. Gamers, let me give you $70 for that. So, let me get this straight. The game is shit. It's total shit. Xbox games are shitty shit shit. And yet, by your own admission, only 20% of the sales are on Xbox, and the Steam numbers are lower than they were previously. So, Mr. Red Dragon, advocate of PlayStation and hater of Xbox, where did the rest of the sales come from? Only 20% of the sales are on Xbox, and the Steam numbers are lower than last year, so that leaves generously 55-60% of the copies sold? Where were those copies sold? Could it be that your precious PlayStation, where quality reigns and no one would ever buy a shitty game like Call of Duty, could it be that, once again, the PlayStation guys are buying Call of Duty in fucking droves? You absolute egghead. Like, I can't get over this. You talk shit about how garbage the game is. 
and you you talk shit about how shitty Xbox owned franchises are and how low the Steam chart numbers are while openly admitting that over 50% of the sales are on your platform. So does quality matter to you or not? You can't make the argument that PlayStation gamers have higher standards than Xbox gamers and oh, Xbox Xbox first party games are just so low quality. You can't make that argument if the majority of the copies of that game are being sold on the platform that you hold in such high esteem. That literally makes no sense. Moving on, Nav says, Xbox's excuse is that it was well into the development stages before the purchase. Funny thing is that Activision probably knew they were gonna get bought out and if it happens with the next COD game, what will their excuse be? Waiting on tools. So, just so we're clear, Activision, the, the same company that's driven Call of Duty into the dirt, quality-wise, for the last, like, decade and a half, and the same company that's pulled some of the shadiest business moves imaginable with their IP. You think Modern Warfare 3's level of shittiness is somehow at all connected to the fact that Activision knew they were going to be bought out by Xbox. Like, what? You're implying that Activision only half-assed Modern Warfare 3 because they knew they were going to get bought out. But even if that were true, how would that contradict the fact that Xbox had nothing to do with it? You said Xbox are using it as an excuse that the game was in development before, before Activision was bought out. That's not an excuse, that's just reality. Microsoft only took control of Activision Blizzard like two weeks before the game came out. Genuinely, what were they supposed to do in that situation? Xbox is not at fault for Modern Warfare 3, no matter how you want to look at this. And if you think it was somehow below Activision to release a game this shitty, like without any outside influence, like you think it was somehow out of character for Activision to do this, you haven't been paying attention to this company for very long. Unleashed says, hot damn, Modern Warfare 3 has no hype at all. GTA 6 is gonna clown COD so bad, it's not even funny. The downfall of COD under Xbox has just begun. I love the thing fanboys do where they start with a decent point and then go completely off the rails and destroy their own point. Like, you could have just stopped at Modern Warfare 3 has no hype, but then you decided to take it a step further and compare it to GTA 6. Like, yeah, of course it doesn't have hype compared to GTA 6. Nothing has hype compared to GTA 6. If the standard for game hype is how it stacks up to GTA 6, then no game has ever been hyped in the history of the universe. Sony Prophet says, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 DLC is currently at a 53 on Metacritic, now officially the worst COD of all time. All it took was a couple meetings with Phil Spencer, hashtag Xbox, hashtag Xbox Game Pass. Because this game was going to be amazing before Phil Spencer came along and goofed the whole thing up, right? But just quick question, quick question. Assuming Xbox didn't buy Activision, and the game came out the exact same way as it did, because this game was going to come out in the state that it did, no matter what. But assuming it happened without the Xbox sticker on the box, would you still be calling this the gigantic piece of shit that it is? Because I really don't think you would. Uh, Sony Prophet also did the stupid Steam chart screenshot thing. Says more bad news for Xbox as Modern Warfare 3 has peaked at 182,000 players, a huge drop from last year and one of the lowest launches in COD history. Modern Warfare 2 peaked at 488,000. Hashtag Xbox. Hashtag Xbox Game Pass. Again, using the Steam charts as evidence against the Xbox really isn't the best move because believe it or not, different platforms have different preferences for games. But also, maybe people just aren't as interested in this game as they were the last game across the board because the franchise just isn't as good as it once was and this game was botched from the start and Xbox literally had nothing to do with it. Also, just because I know you don't understand how this actually works, a 182,000 concurrent player count on Steam is still ridiculously impressive, but it's not like I expect someone unironically named Sony Profit to know anything about how the PC market works. Like, regardless of whether or not 180,000 is less than the all-time peak, that's still more than enough to get it in the Steam top 10, but... I guess we just don't talk about that. JDub tweets out a really crude Photoshop of VGC's Modern Warfare 3 2 out of 5 review. He slapped an Xbox logo on it with a really, really bad Photoshop job there. Like, how do you fuck that up? Like, it's literally a, a circle PNG. How do you fuck that up? And then he gives Price a speech bubble that says, What do you expect from Microsoft? Quality? <sighs> this is like, this is just so tiring. 
Like, where was this energy when COD was shit before? Like seriously, the franchise wouldn't have gotten this bad if people didn't eat it up every year. And as we've established, the PlayStation dudes didn't seem to care until literally just now. Y'all have been enabling Call of Duty like crazy, year after year. But now, suddenly, it's all Phil Spencer's fault. It's all Xbox's fault. Like, crazy idea, maybe we wouldn't have gotten such a shitty COD if you hadn't bought all the shitty CODs up to this point. You guys are so desperate to wash your hands of this whole thing. It's insane. Unleash tweets out the fucking Homer in the hedge meme. Call of Duty belongs to Microsoft. And then the 53, he, he backs into the hedge. Activision is responsible for Modern Warfare 3. Like, yeah, this isn't the zinger you think it is. Like, it's just not. This, these are two unrelated true statements. Xbox owns Call of Duty, yes. And Activision is responsible for Modern Warfare 3, yes. Stating the obvious in a meme format doesn't make it a meme. It just makes you kind of dumb. <sighs> right, guys, if you want to blame the shittiness of Call of Duty on Xbox, you have to wait until Xbox actually funds a Call of Duty game, you know? The shittiness of Modern Warfare 3 was set in stone before Xbox was calling the shots, and Xbox only took control of the franchise like two weeks before the game came out. There's nothing they could have done, that's just the way it is. And I find it hysterical that the platform that's been eating Call of Duty up every single year, and that continues to eat Call of Duty up this year, despite talking all this shit about it, is now trying to act like the shittiness of the franchise is a brand new phenomenon, and they had nothing to do with it up to this point because oh playstation oh no we would never buy shitty games we, we hold these we hold shitty products accountable we don't buy shitty games even though you've been buying this franchise regardless of quality every year without question but now all of a sudden now that xbox is signing the checks for future games this game where they didn't sign the checks is also their fault modern warfare 3 isn't shitty because activision knew they could get away with it because Activision knew you people would buy it regardless of quality. No, it's shitty because of Xbox. This is so desperate. It's so dumb. It's so stinky. And I really can't say I expect any better from the PlayStation community. Toodles.